Okay, so we're asked to factorise, which means put this into brackets. So the first thing I would do is put a set of brackets down. It's a quadratic because there's an x squared, an x and a number term. So I'm always going to put two sets of brackets. And because it says x squared there, and there's no number before it, the first two terms are going to be x. That's the nice easy bit. The slightly harder bit is working out what comes second in each of the brackets. So we've got to look at two numbers here. The number before the x is going to be our addition number. And the number left at the end, which is a positive 28, is going to be our multiplying number. So we need to find two numbers that add together to make minus 16 and times together to make 28. Now, the only pair of numbers that times together to make a positive are two positive or two negative. Now, if we had two positive numbers, we can't add them together to make negative 16. So something we do know right now is that both the numbers are negative. Now, we can take that out of our mind now. We don't need to worry about the negatives. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to make 28 and add together to make 16. Okay, Remember, we're not thinking about the negatives for this anymore. So we're going to write down the factors of 28. So 1 times 28 is 28, but they add together to make uh, 29. Well, that's not correct. We need to get 16. So 2 and 14. So let's add those together. That makes 16, so that's correct. Now, we obviously know that they are minus 2 and minus 14. So it's minus 2 and minus 14. Now, a common question is, does it matter which way around it is? Well, if you think about it, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6. They're both equal the same number. Okay, So it doesn't matter which way around you multiply something. So with the same with brackets, you could write x minus, in fact, why don't I write that as my answer? x minus 14, x minus 2. It doesn't matter which way around they are. 